What's going on YouTube? This is Uriah, better known as the phone guy here in Fort Collins, Colorado. And today I'm going to be bringing you my review on the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G. Um, I'm going to be covering CyanogenMod number 7. Uh, this is build number 13. So let's go ahead and uh, get into it here. Um, start off by going here to the settings uh, about phone. And so you can see it here. Um, Android version is based off of 2.3.2 .2, and this is the nightly builds so this is uh, not the finalized version yet I think there's a couple more builds out there besides this one I haven't really found too many issues with this one that's made me want to upgrade it to a different version so i um, just kind of been hanging out with this one uh, let's see you got your scrolling effects um, so the more you pull up on it it will get white pull down same deal kinda neat not too bad um, speed on it is fairly good uh, not a whole lot of lag here I do not have this one overclocked as you can see um, probably gonna be doing that here in the next couple days get it all overclocked and do a new video with the speed performance then but um, pretty much everything works on it um, I haven't had any real issues with this ROM at all. Um, I get the occasional force close. Um, the apps that I've seen it force close on a lot um, is XDA developers. Every once in a while when it's trying to connect to the server, it'll prompt me with a, a little force close there. Um, camera, everything like that works. Let's go ahead and pull that up here. Um, this build is supposed to have the 720p video recording. Um, so I haven't really tested it out too much. Uh, I've used the camera a couple times. It takes really good photos, um, really crisp and clear. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, you also have your CyanogenMod mod settings. It's carried over from CM6. You um, can change where you want your applications to be stored, sound. I think that's probably my favorite, favorite feature here uh, is the silent time or quiet hours, which is always nice that way you're not getting woken up in the middle of the night with a text message or whatnot um, now there's my family <laughs> uh, yeah like I said you can see it pretty smooth scrolling um, of course I got the task manager here so that way I yeah, keep everything clear and run optimal um, battery life on this is amazing um, I think I've been averaging a good 14 hours and I'll still have about 20% battery left uh, and that's with fairly heavy usage I'm on my phone quite a bit throughout the day um, I did install Juice Defender as well which it seems to be working with this uh, pretty nice I think it's another reason why it's kinda drug out my battery a little bit and get a little bit more out of it uh, I'm using the stock launcher that comes with the ROM no ADW or Launcher Pro uh, those, I'm, I'm not really a big fan of those, but um, Titanium Backup works on this ROM too, which is really nice. Haven't really used it quite yet, so probably get into that a little bit later. But the only application I've been having issues with is Quadrant Score. Uh, every time I try to run it, what it does is it does not show the 3D. Um, that little thing where you're walking up the stairs and all that it doesn't show it but it still runs it which it's really weird uh, I'll go ahead and run it real quick I just cleared all the tasks so nothing's running we'll kind of see what uh, what we get speed wise here and I'll see if you can uh, see if it'll do it again it's, it worked once for me um, but that was yeah just once I'll just let it load here Let's see it Shows it's running, but there's uh, obviously nothing on the screen. So let it finish up. Front facing camera does work. Um, I've used Tango, uh, works just fine. I'm not 100% sure about Quick. I have not used it yet, so I'll be something I'll have to test out. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, it didn't show that little 3D effect where you're walking up the stairs and get to that room or whatnot. But uh, I did go through, so 
let's uh, see what our benchmark results here with it not being overclocked um, no lag fix or anything like that I'll probably check into that too but I really haven't had too many issues with it and there we go uh, as you can see that's our quadrant score not overclocked um, just running it at the full CPU for right now um, yeah pretty good results not too bad I've been pretty impressed with this ROM so far um, yeah everything works widgets work um, the only widget that I've had issues with is the battery widget uh, which is this little guy here this battery widget uh, it'll start off working pretty good uh, and then it'll just get frozen so it, it doesn't update or when you charge it it doesn't update so uh, I haven't deleted it quite yet um, wireless hotspot does work uh, I've used it a couple times I have not checked out the tethered option which in this ROM it does give you the option to get in here to tether it USB tethering I have not checked that out I have done the portable Wi-Fi hotspot um, again that does work uh, so yeah uh, that's gonna be it for my video um, please rate comment uh, if there's something I missed that you want me to cover um, please send me an email or post a comment and I will try to get to that I'm not gonna do a tutorial video there's plenty out there check out XDA developers uh, that's where I got mine that walked me through this whole process. Um, yeah, it was pretty pretty smooth. It was pretty easy. Had a little bit of trouble with it at first, but other than that, everything works good. All right.